throws down a challenge as they race in between the final two. It's Sunchart to Lieber Nick as they went head over it. Very little separated them as they head inside the final 100. It's Sunchart the near side. Lieber Nick the far side who's digging deepest and Lieber Nick takes her opener. Throws down a challenge as they race in between the final two. It's Sunchart to Lieber Nick as they went head over it. Very little separated them as they head inside the final 100. It's Sunchart the near side. Lieber Nick the far side who's digging deepest and Lieber Nick takes her opener from Sunchard in the trenches, Impact St. George and Mr. Escobar. Working on a dream and Birmingham, Alabama second and third. It's Jers Gigi. Here comes Birmingham, Alabama has got the gap down to a length as they went over the final flight. Jers Gigi was out towards her right. Birmingham, Alabama is coming with a wet sail down the outside and it's Birmingham, Alabama the near side. Jers Gigi is battling back to far side. It Working on a dream and Birmingham, Alabama second and third. It's Jers Gigi. Here comes Birmingham, Alabama has got the gap down to a length as they went over the final flight. Jers Gigi was out towards her right. Birmingham, Alabama is coming with a wet sail down the outside and it's Birmingham, Alabama the near side. Jers Gigi is battling back to far side. It goes to the judge. Between Jers Gigi and Birmingham, Alabama they pulled three or four lengths clear over working on it. Final fence, it's Winsome Lusome and Western Model, but Winsome Lusome, a Kilbegan winner on his penultimate start, takes this one for Ronnie O'Connor and Porig Roach. Men in D from Western Model, Grandpa Jer finished with a flourish. They're in front of Pat Coyne. Tully Viri lad, Glendine Billy, Diane for a drink is next, but it is Bajira who leads them out over the final flight from stumbling in. Tully Viri lads behind these, but it's Bajira who has the advantage, racing inside the final 50, and this big step up in trip is no problems for Bajira. Tully Viri lad, Glendine Billy, Diane for a drink is next, but it is Bajira who leads them out over the final flight from stumbling in. Tully Viri lads behind these, but it's Bajira who has the advantage, racing inside the final. 50 and this big step up in trip is no problems for Bajira as she takes division one of this handicap hurdle for Jack Kennedy and Mark Fahey. Tully Viri Lad was in second, being followed in by Stumbling In. Fire Carl, the one that unshipped there at the second last, but it is Saffron A. Blue, Evan Dwan, narrow advantage over Dr. Val and Calnu, Gondor and Dacia Boy trying to deliver their challenges late. It's Saffron A. Blue with the closing Dr. Val and Gondor to the line. Saffron A. Blue and Fire Carl, the one that unshipped there at the second last, but it is Saffron A. Blue, Evan Dwan, narrow advantage over Dr. Val and Calnu, Gondor and Dacia Boy trying to deliver their challenges Challenges late. It's Saffron A. Blue with the closing Dr. Val and Gondor to the line. Saffron A. Blue and Gondor. After these in the third position was Dr. Val. They were in front of Dacia Boy and Calnu. and Mourn Mist. It's between three though. Racing down towards the final flight. One bright blue rose has the advantage over on the far side. Bayou Bell and Mr. Sundancer are two and three. But it's one bright blue rose who has the advantage. Pushed out by Andy Burkott. Takes this for Patrick Cronin. It's and Mourn Mist. It's between three though. Racing down towards the final flight. One bright blue rose has the advantage over on the far side. Bayou Bell and Mr. Sundancer are two and three. But it's one bright blue Rose, who has the advantage, pushed out by Andy Burkott, takes this for Patrick Cronin. It's one bright blue rose who beats Bayou Bell. Third spot goes to Mr. Sundancer in front of Hill Rocket and Mourn Mist. An ultimate flight with the advantage goes on now by a couple of lengths over Fox Lester. Bella be good, the one that stays on into the second position, but it's Grizabella with the advantage. Bella be good within two and a half lengths, but Grizabella and Paddy and Shark Hanlon takes division two of the Wexford Heritage Trails. An ultimate flight with the advantage goes on now by a couple of lengths over Fox Lester. Bella be good, the one that stays on into the second position, but it's Grizabella with the advantage. Bella be good within two and a half lengths but Grizabella and Paddy and Shark Hanlon takes division two of the Wexford Heritage Trails handicap hurdle. Grizabella beats Bella Be Good, Fox Lester and Ballerina Boxer.
Drumley Mitt, man like Mike begins to stay on on the far side. Orange Colours near side are well boy, but it is Joe Cooker with the advantage. Drumley Mitt though is trying to run him down, is within half a length as they race inside the final 50, but it's Joe Cooker and Brian Dunleavy for the Ellen Doyle stable. Drumley Mitt, man like Mike begins to stay on on the far side. Orange Colours near side are well boy, but it is Joe Cooker with the advantage. Drumley Mitt though is trying to run him down, is within half a length as they race inside the final 50, but it's Joe Cooker and Brian Dunleavy for the Ellen Doyle stable. Another local success to our finale. Beats into second spot was well, boy. They're followed in by...